Good morning. Welcome to you all. Today we have got again with us Dr. Ashok Ratan, uh, who has been an ex-laboratory director with uh, WHO. And apart from that, he's currently heading position of chairman with Redcliffe Lab in the medical committee. Uh, so, sir, uh, welcome to the True Hunt. And of course, I would like to tell our viewers that today the topic is Nipah virus. Recently, I would read a news line which talks that the center has sent a multi multidisciplinary team led by Dr. Mala Chabra, who is a microbiologist at Delhi Ram Manor Lohia Hospital. So I'd like to tell you that why the team has been headed towards Kerala. So recently, there is a news that Nipah virus, the virus named Nipah is spreading all over in Kerala. So Dr. Ashok Ratan would be discussing with us what is exactly Nipah virus where it derived from and there is a also unusual thing about Nipa's name. So he would be throwing a light with the start that where Nipa came from. Uh, good morning. And uh, Nipa is a recent virus. Uh, it was actually in 1998 in Malaysia in a pig farm. There was an outbreak which led to about 108 deaths of handlers of the pigs. Then they noticed uh, the virus was isolated in 1999. And uh, this was found to be an RNA virus, just as SARS-CoV-2 was. This is an RNA virus. It belongs to the family of paramyxoviruses. That means it remains, para means near, and myxo means mucus. So it remains near the mucus. It has two kind of features. One is that it can cause respiratory symptoms but more often it causes meningitis or encephalitis so it causes uh, dizziness it causes convulsions it causes coma and it can act fatally so it was initially thought to be japanese encephalitis and in fact only when they analyzed and they found that japanese encephalitis vaccine had been given to most of the handlers then they realized that it is a new virus Adults were affected and the fatality rate has been high. Uh, subsequently, there were a few cases in Singapore. And in 2001, there was an outbreak in Bangladesh as well as in Siliguri. This was then identified again as Nipah virus by NCDC. That time, NCDC was known as NICD. And subsequently, WHO reports that in Bangladesh, Nipah virus has become endemic and every year, 0 to 67 cases have been reported since uh, 2001. Uh, this February also, 11 cases were reported. 11 cases, 10 of them were lab confirmed and they were deaths. The average age was 16 years and it was traced to drinking palm sap, which was contaminated with bats. Now we know that Nipah virus is also a zoonotic virus. That means it comes from animals. Normally, it is carried by bats. Then it infects other uh, intermediate animals like pigs in this case. And from pigs, it then jumps to human being. Once it has jumped to human being, then from one human to human, it has the ability to transfer. And it's uh, virulent it is fatal, but its transmission at this moment is not as severe as with COVID. It has an incubation period of about 4 to 14 days. Then initially the person has fever, headache, vomiting, some amount of myalgia, and this then progresses either to breathlessness if it becomes respiratory symptoms or it progresses to vomiting, then uh, with uh, convulsions, coma, and right. death. Sir, yeah. I would like to ask you that uh, generally, uh, with as we are aware with COVID, the RT-PCR test is needed. It's the same test with the laboratories is needed uh, for NEPA as well? Yes, uh, the same method can be used. RT-PCR, because this is an RNA virus, it will have to be converted into cDNA and then PCR would be done. So RT-PCR is the method of choice. At this moment, I think only NIV Pune and NCDC have the ability to do this test. The virus has been classified as highly dangerous. So it is not suggested 
that other labs should do the testing. We had a solution earlier also. We were saying in COVID time, since there's no attempt to culture the virus by most of the labs, even this virus will grow and we do cells, but it should be done only in a biosecurity lab. So since there's no attempt to culture, there is a transport medium known as molecular transport medium, which will inactivate the virus, making it harmless, but would preserve the DNA or RNA which is present. So we should use this transport medium for transporting to the lab and then it can be done without endangering persons in between. Sir, I would like to ask you, of course, as you said that there is a specialized labs to be needed for this particular LIPA uh, virus test. So, sir, I would like to ask you that uh, is this the reason behind the central government sending the team of doctors from Delhi to Kerala as no specific facilities are available? So, what can be the reasons? See, what we must stress is that it is not only a human disease. It's also a disease of the animals. So, WHO has been insisting that we should think of one health approach. One health approach means there should be a team which is cross-functional, which should consist of doctors, it should consist of veterinarians, and maybe also environmental health. So it's a composite team consisting of competent persons. And uh, Mala Chabra, who's gone, is a very competent microbiologist. And it needs a containment facility. So the mobile team, which is like DSL-3 mobile, has been shipped there, which will be very good because the transport of the sample uh, without inactivation should not occur. It's best that it is done at site and is done quickly. Identifying the patients and isolating them is the best method of controlling the infection since there is no specific treatment available. I think last time when the outbreak occurred in 2021, then ICMR had acquired some experimental monoclonal antibodies and they have also been sent to Kerala. But that is experimental. I think control will lie in first is suspecting, then identifying and then isolating and taking all precautions. I think there's also need to identify whether besides man-to-man, is there man-to-animal transmission also occurring? Because unless that is identified and taken care of, this there'll be simmering attack. Sir, of course, my last question, as you have explained all about Nipah virus, and we are as a, a layman also very much clear with what Nipah virus is actually, and uh, is it more deadly or as compared to the COVID and what other complications are? Sir, uh, my question is with your words, just you mentioned that one health approach. So with one health approach, I would like to know what kind of atmosphere as a doctor, as a senior person, as a senior doctor, rather, I would say you are looking at with the current system. Please throw a light. One health approach means that instead of remaining only focused on one aspect of the problem, we should look at totality and we should share information and get information from veterinarians because where are the bats? Maybe medical doctors would not know where the bats are, but the veterinarians will know. Whether animals are also showing similar features that the veterinarians will know. So unless we have the veterinarians with us and unless we are communicating continuously on a real-time basis with them, we would not be able to really come to the bottom of this. We also need public health people who would do contact tracing and then identify the root of the problem. Sir, one last word. It's just for my understanding that uh, one health approach should be adapted in any sort of circumstances I am talking about in terms of the medical system. I think more and more people are understanding that one health approach is the approach for the future and that means that instead of working in silos we should work as teams and uh, we should frequently communicate what we know and at the same time admit what we do not know. But the aim is that we should communicate and communicate the truth and clearly because people also as severely affected as the healthcare workers. So it is being keeping everybody in the loop. That should be the motto of One Health Approach. Thank you so much. And this was brilliant out of our session that Dr. Ashok Ratan has given to us One Health Approach, which India is eyeing, I hope, in the future as well. Sir, thank you very much.